In this how-to video, we're going to demonstrate how to generate CID file for the UR firmware version 7.2 in the NVista software version 7.8. Usually, if we use the UR firmware version 7.2, we will generate the ICD file with the default name template for the IED name. So there's one way we can fix this problem by changing some settings in the software. So let's get started. Now I have two offline setting file, UR720 and UR780 for the firmware 720 and 780. So for the 780, I can just show you the firmware version, the 7, 720. Um, and also the IED name is uh, 720 in the settings of the product communication 61850 and the server configuration so i'm using the ur720 that's the id name i'm going to now generating a icd file i'm going to use the name ur720 uh, uh, instead of using the urs now they're using the default type for the icd files generating a ICD file. Okay, meanwhile we can monitor this uh, folder. ICD file is generated. I can just uh, right click mouse and uh, view this ICD file. And we can see that the IED names being used is template. Everywhere we see that uh, supposed to have a UR720, we got template. To fix this problem, we need to change some parameters in a file called urpc.ini. And the first place we can look for this file, it's under the C drive program data, uh, GE power management and urpc, and open this urpc dot rni file right click choose edit okay so at the bottom of this uh, uh, file we need ending some new settings so i already got to pre-copy it i just copy and paste but here's the thing we need to type in to this uh, uh, notepad file uh, customize iid option set to one so let's save this and close it. And now let's try to generate a second uh, file, uh, ICD file and see what, what happens. Okay, so right click generate ICD file and this time I just uh, gave a, a extension name. Let's see, uh, underscore A. Okay, so from the offline setting file, we can see that the second file is generated from my folder of the UR720. So I could right click a mouse and view with Notepad++. And we see that the problem still not solved. The template still being used as IED name. Okay, so now let's try the another solution. Okay, so another thing you need to, to do is first uh, unhide all the hidden files. Once you um, uh, unhide all the hidden files, you're going to find a virtual store folder. And uh, this one in my computer will be under the users, my username, app data, local virtual store, and program data. GE Power Management and URPC. And from here, we're going to change the URPC INI file again. Right click mouse. And I'm going to pre copy my saved file here. Customize ID option set to one. Save and exit. Okay, so now I'm going to gen generate this. Uh, uh, ICD file again. The third time, hopefully, this third time is a charm. So this time I can 
call this under, underscore name to B. Now let's check this newly generated uh, um, ICD file underscore B. Right click, edit with Notepad++, and we can see that all the IED names being renamed into the UR720. Uh, Okay, so now if we close this one and open the UR780 uh, offline setting file and try to import these uh, two different uh, ICD file into the UR780 and see what, what's the difference. So op first we go to the IEC61850 uh, folder. Okay, so go to the goose, or receive the goose, boolean inputs, and I'm going to delete uh, this one and trying to import uh, uh, two different files. First, I'm going to import underscore A. So I see this ID name shows as template. And now if I import uh, another file, underscore B, and we can see that IED name, UR720, has been displayed. When you open that to the, the members under this uh, control block, you can see that the difference between the um, two goos, one is using the template, another using the I, proper IED name, UR720. So let's uh, recap this uh, how-to videos. The key is to fix the parameters in the urpc.ini file. You can look this file directly under the C drive program data. If uh, that fix doesn't work, you can go to look for that file under the virtual store. Just uh, need to uh, unhide this uh, uh, hidden file, which is uh, under the, the hidden folders. And that concludes this uh, how-to videos, how to generate a proper uh, IED name 